have your attention, please. This time I would like to call this meeting of the City of County Board of Commissioners for order. And of course, our first order of business, other than to state that all are here, is our pledge of allegiance and our prayer. And I'm going to turn the meeting over to our Vice Chair Falls for uh, the pledge and the prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before we begin our prayer tonight, I uh, just wanted to mention that uh, one of our schools, um, Jefferson Elementary School, um, today they wore green in remembrance of uh, uh, people that are trying to have kidney. Uh, issues, kidney problems, and they have a student there, Tanner Den, and uh, we've asked all the commissioners to wear and, and staff to wear uh, a green ribbon tonight. Uh, in remembrance of all those all those people that have kidney issues, but it's a special uh, tonight for Tanner, he's going to have some procedures done on uh, Thursday. So, you'll join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity for us to gather here tonight. God, we ask you to keep our minds clear. Keep our hearts open and help us concentrate on the on the needs and the the uh, uh, desires of the residents of Cleveland County. God, we live in an awesome county. You, you've uh, blessed us uh, so much, and we just ask you to to uh, guide our decisions tonight. Help us be wise uh, stewards of your resources. And God, be with those uh, in our community that are uh, hurting. Those those families that have. Uh, uh, financial and uh, physical and mental concerns. Uh, we just ask you to be with each one of those people and, and um, just put your hand over them and just uh, give them your grace. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Six items on two to seven now. Items on the consent agenda for consideration this evening. Uh, item A is the minutes. December 4, 2012, regular county commission meeting. December 11, 2012, work session. Item B, tax collector's monthly report for December 2012. At the end of December, county real and personal property taxes were 72.97% collected. Item C, Tax Assessor's Monthly Report for December 2012. At the end of December, there were abatements of $10,992 and supplements of $19,621. Item D, the Budget Amendment in the Department of Social Services. That's the budget $29,765 in federal grant funds to be used in the daycare services program. Item E, the Budget Amendment in the Department of Social Services. $78,835 in federal grant funds to be used in the Home Energy Assistance Program. Item F, 
the budget amendment and the Department of Social Services. That's in the budget. $357,912 in federal grant funds to be used in the Home Energy Assistance Program. Item D, annual certification of Cleveland County firefighters. Uh, this document certifies that uh, Dewey Cook, Perry Davis, and Bobby Horton are all employees of the Cleveland County Fire Marshal's Office and Emergency Management Department and have received the required training to be members of the North Carolina State Fire Association. Well, that's I have one I asked for some lady, Ms. Chair, on um, D, which is the annual certification of firefighters. Could we arrange that when we do that, give the county manager authorization to sign off on that plus the it to us because he's the one certifying that they are employees? Could that be done in the same motion or would that be different for us? When you're discussing what you all I think since he's going to sign it, you know.
Park Center Project and the Niagara Sea Medal. And thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 
very good receiver. Cleaning it up. Owner Donnie Ray Williams. Uh, again, complaint from neighbors. Uh, it's not been burned or anything, it's just been abandoned uh, and purchased uh, by Mr. Williams. Don't know what his intentions are. Have, have spoken with him. His um, sister has called in about the property just to, to let us know that the letter did reach.
sure the man standing there at the bar said he'd say he could if it was you and not you to do it. If not, he would proceed with it. But uh, that's just to verify that it's not just a cut and dry thing. It's in the process of a couple of years, over a couple of years, might get it done.
I've had several calls over the last couple of weeks on closing the collection site on Sunday. And we know why the collection sites are closed on account of what the cause matters. We did not want to pull on collection fees, so the only thing was is to close on Sunday. But over a dozen pieces called and they're willing to pay extra to get the collection sites open again on Sunday. So I guess you know the star runs these different polls to see what the community thinks. It would be nice if the star could run a poll to see how many people are willing to pay extra to keep these polling sites open on Sunday to give us as a commissioner an idea of what to do. Because when we chose not to raise the fees at the time that we felt like that the citizens could not afford any additional fees if they were willing to let them on their own. And I personally think it's a, a different situation. Is that suitable with the commissioner to ask her for that? If she would do it? first year uh, and I think one of the big things is I know I'm uh, sure you you mentioned it many times is uh, the way we can uh, get things done is by partnerships and uh, creating partnerships so um, uh, Mr. Hutchins and I did have a chance to, to uh, visit with um, both the House and Senate uh, to see the spring in there uh, made a lot of good con contacts not only with our, our voters delegation but also native delegation uh, I attended the spring in of uh, some of the affiliations in their in their respective counties as well, uh, going up to Lincoln County and a couple other places. So um, I think we've got uh, in place right now. We've got a good a good delegation um, that is willing to uh, to do a lot to help Lincoln County. Uh, they already have been, and, um, but we've definitely got their ear. Um, so we're uh, I'm excited about uh, what uh, what 2013 has for Lincoln County. We can hardly hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. You're speaking on yourself, but we really can't hear what you're saying. Okay. 
He said something about a we're talking about a dog or something. The, uh, <laughs> the, Red, the Redby Clinic, I forgot it, attended it uh, a couple of years ago, and I think they had 900 that were vaccinated who were razor shot at the health department. And what I think Sam's talking about doing is moving the location to the next site since they had it like it. Kingman High School, Burns High School, the health department maybe having Shelby High School to get you know, more out in the area, so he's going to take a look at that. Right at 900. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um, Bob will be having uh, surgery uh, next week to repair a valve in his heart. Uh, and uh, after the surgery, I think he'll be out for about uh, six weeks uh, recuperating uh, from the surgery. Okay. Uh, the Thank you. 